breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Hypop must apologize to Igbo people for its mistakes, naughtiness, and for initially ordering it sit at home in Southeast. Owanese. Hypop must apologize to Igbo people for its mistakes, not sorry, naughtiness, and for initially ordering sit at home in Southeast Owanese. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read to this news. A faction of the Ohanese Indigo has advised the leadership of the indigenous people of Bihafra Hypo to tender an apology to the residents of the Southeast for initially issuing a seat at home order in the region. This was contained in a statement issued on Sunday by Lokechuku Isiguzoro, the Secretary General of the group. According to the statement, even though IPOB has denied several times that its members are not the ones enforcing the sit-at-home order, there is a need to offer a public apology to residents who have been affected by this. Owanese is of the opinion that if IPOB had not initially ordered a seat at home in the southeast, criminals would not be taking advantage of the order after it had been called off. The group also took a swipe at Senator Le Yinaya Abaribi who stated that during his visit to the IPOB leader, Unam de Kanu, the latter confirmed to him that he never heard a deceit at home currently being observed in the southeast. Owaneze Ndibu said the senators and some other southeast politicians who are trying to absolve IPOB of any blame for the sit at home declaration are doing so because of their ambitions in 2023, not for the benefit of the people. The group urged all Southeast governors to find a lasting solution to the weekly sit at home. The statement reads One is the Indigo Worldwide as to call on the Southeast governors to search for lasting solutions to the cessation and termination of the hypopsis at home since they now blame the delinquent and criminal for hijacking the exercise of sit at home since it is obvious that men of the underworld have taken advantage of hypops miscalculation to unleash terrorist raids and onslaught against Indigo. Drastic measures are needed to arrest this shameless activity that has paralyzed the academic, economic, and social activities in the Southeast. The governors should know that posterity will be unkind and unfair to them if they concede to circumstances of sit at home and don't confront the hyper dreaded monster called IPOP sit at home squally. No Hebrew governor or senator deserves to seek election in 2023 if they lack the balls to stamp out the disgraceful activities that have ridiculed southeastern Nigerians who are known as the best black entrepreneurs and business merchants across the globe. We are compelled by, by the evidence of insubordination before us, to advise that the Southeast governors should sack and dismiss all major market leaders in their respective states or give them an ultimatum to quit adherence 
to the observation of seeds at home. Hallmark it in the southeast are instrumental in helping the governors to end the absurdity of madness called the IPOB sit at home because the structure of most influencers of sit at home is amongst the market leadership in the southeast. And any day they pull out of the secessionist crusade, it will collapse their it will collapse like a pack of cards. Do senators trying to acquit and absorb IPOP from the sit at home declaration are doing so because of their governorship ambitions in 2023, not for the benefit of the people. IPOP should accept the fact that they illegally instituted the sit at home without any consultative meetings. With the Igbo leadership and political leaders, they should start by tendering public apology and ask for forgiveness from Indigo for their mistakes and nothingness, which had destroyed the economic and social activities in the Southeast, and they will be forgiven. A faction of the Oaneze Indigo has advised the leadership of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP to tender an apology to the residents of the Southeast for initially issuing a sit at home order in the region. This was contained in a statement issued on Sunday by Okechukul Isiguzoro, the Secretary General of the group. According to the statement, even though IPOB has denied several times that its members are not the ones enforcing the state at home order, there is a need to offer a public apology to residents who have been affected by this. Owanezel is of the opinion that if IPOB had not initially ordered a state at home in the southeast, Criminals would not be taking advantage of the order after it had been called off. The group also took a swipe at Senator Leyinaya Baribe, who stated that during his visit to the LIPOB leader, Unam De Kanu, the latter confirmed to him that he never ordered the seat at home currently being observed in the southeast. Now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop a like the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.